Good times abound uh, downtown this weekend. Sporting KC in town tomorrow. So this is the big St. Louis City SC rivalry. Yeah, we can't wait. You know, we've we've we haven't been at home for three weeks now. Mm-hmm. So even just to come back and get City Park rocking again is is always special. But to welcome Sporting KC to town, it feels like that was a date that we've had circle for quite some time, and fans are really excited. So we're we're pretty we're pretty pumped. Well, I it's, think the it's big... going to be great, and the weather's supposed to be badass. Mm. Like absolutely weather's perfect. supposed to be great. Now I think the big thing here is that St. Louis is the soccer city. It is. It is the soccer city. <clears throat> it is. But, you know, our, our neighbors to the West would disagree with that. And over the past couple of years have, you know, shown some actions that have, um, you know, it, it's been a little under, under the radar a bit. But they have, you know, while we were building a team in a stadium, they registered the trademark America's soccer capital, <gasps> which Whoa, we think is, is an overreach of the highest mm-hmm. order. Yeah, yeah. I mean, history speaks for itself. Did the that's federal right. government build a giant goal in their town? Like, you go to the arch, <laughs> that's a big soccer goal. <laughs> that's, that's right. right. <laughs> I don't have that over there. <laughs> oh, that was for cricket. <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we are getting into cricket here. No, no, what is it? No, what's the game? Uh, 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 croquet. 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 Damn it, that's <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's a fun game, by the way. Ah, <laughs> uh, croquet. It's a... No, oh, man, we, we have the history. We have okay. the numbers. Don't we have something like 77 or 78 or something like that uh, caps from St. Louis players on the, on the national team? Yeah, so, so 78, 78 players have come from St. Louis that have registered for the men's and women's national team. So, wow. I mean, it, when you put the numbers together, it's over 10%. So That's there, there is quite a lot of, you know, past, present, and, you know, we're excited about the, the future of soccer in St. Louis. So we've got the receipts to back that up. So 74 out of the 650 players for the men's national team came from St. Louis. Yeah. Holy Dang. smokes. It's That's unreal. absurd, man. It's unreal. That is so cool. And, and, and you know, it, it doesn't stop. You know, our history goes back to the late 1800s. We obviously had, you know, six players on the 1950 team that beat England. Um, but even the current day roster, Tim Ream, Josh Sargent. So uh, we're not slowing down. Certainly yeah. not. Yeah. Screw them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I can't trademark that. Not no. if it's not true. And you look it up, and it's all—that's like me it's trying all to. Over. You know, that's uh, that's me trademarking coolest guy ever. We right. all know that's true, but I don't know if I mm-hmm. can. <laughs> I, I don't know how official these ratings I, are. <laughs> I don't know how many records they broke either. Uh, we broke every freaking record that nobody was even talking about. Uh, yeah. In the beginning of this season. Yeah, it's been this, it's been quite team. quite a launch. You know, seventy thousand ticket deposits, number one best selling jersey in Major League Soccer. So again, it's it's Damn. the past, the present, and and where we're going in the future. Yeah. So so what, so what are the plans on Saturday? Are we rallying? What are we doing? I mean, it's, so first of all, great weather, as Moon said. We've got a little bit of a later start, eight thirty. So plenty of time Perfect. to get, get down to City Park. You know, we've got great local food, great music. Um, our party starts on the plaza there at five o'clock. There's going to be plenty going on downtown, though. It's going to be amazing. I'm, I'm telling you. I was going to my first game a couple weeks ago, and as we were driving down Market Street, I mean, it, I mean, we worked down there for 15 years. Yeah. And I don't recognize it anymore because yeah. we used to work at Union Station. That's where the old, you know, the Emma Studios were. And we were driving down Market. I go, where am I? This is, yeah, a, new, this is a new, this is a new upgraded downtown. It is, yeah. It's amazing. It is, yeah. I'm not just... You know, blowing smoke up your keister. I mean, that's what I said. I mean, I went, wow. <laughs> yeah, different world. <laughs> it is. But I think, you know, the, the entire neighborhood has embraced it as well. And the design of the stadium is meant to be very open and accessible. So it, it ends up feeling like the whole, whether it's Union Station, Maggie O'Brien, Schlafly, mm-hmm. it feels like a soccer village. And um, it's just, it's awesome. It's the best party in town on Saturday night. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's cool. Sorry, Riz. Um, I just like... Um, St. Louis, you know, has a lot of Cardinals fans, and we know like yeah. the rivalry between the Cardinals and the Cubs. And yeah. if you're if you're like an old soccer guy uh, or gal, like you you know uh, the the leagues and what they've done as far as just the rivalries that have like naturally happened, you know, in in the English leagues and the German leagues and all that kind of stuff. And it's really cool to see the MLS really like pushing hard on these rival weeks and like. Uh, just kind of embracing that whole feeling of the derby matches and, and the rivalries, and I can't wait. And I'm so happy that they finally opened it up for the Apple TV Plus uh, yeah. t- for free. So yeah. this, this game tomorrow is going to be. It's another one of those free ones. So if you're new to the soccer world, which I know a lot of St. Louis may be, even though we have all this history here. 
tune in because you're going to see an extra excitement from from the squad. You're going to see an extra ex excitement from KC's squad, from all of it. And you know, it's also on FS1 this weekend. It is, yeah. It's so, on FS1, so, so it's you don't uh, even have to have Apple it, TV. Oh, yeah. sweet! Dang. It's yeah, first game on FS1. It's uh, it'll be broadcast by St. Louis's own Taylor Twelman. Uh, so there's there's a lot to like there. But Moon, you mentioned the uh, just the geographics of of St. Louis now being you know in the middle of you know we play Chicago, we play yeah. Nashville, we play Columbus, we play Kansas City, and there aren't a lot of North American rivalries. You know, you still got they're a rival, but you still got to jump on a Southwest flight. We we have a, a lot of cities that are nearby where you have true away day rivalries where you can travel thousands mm -hmm. of fans right. and then sleep in your bed you know after the game finishes so yeah it's awesome it's very european so, which exactly. is really cool it's a bit it's a big deal and that really as, as the next 5 10 years go like this this whole thing is going that's going to start tonight is a big deal yeah. it's going to be a big listen, deal listen i've watched enough ted lasso episodes where i know we can always <laughs> yeah, come on dude. a train or do a, do a do a you know caravan yes. you know when we're in KC we all go down to KC exactly that's, right. that's, that's how right. that's how it's and then we happen. can just come home after the game it's not that far take the train it's awesome dude we gotta know oh yes you know the question get to brass tacks here yeah <laughs> the real question is the mystery so that market that you have there mm -hmm. where you swipe your credit card yeah okay and you go in the market you pick whatever you want out and then you don't have to do anything you just leave mm -hmm. yeah how does it know how what does you're it buying work? it's magic. Oh, it's, it's, Matt, you got to oh, tell us. It's just a little city that. magic on it. We call it's, it the magic market on this show. It's the, it's the Wally's like magic market. Yeah, how magic market. does it work? So we, we have three of them. They're pretty awesome, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was yeah. right where I was sitting. So I south walk end. up the stairs there, and it's, yeah. it's right there. Um, so we've got so, one on the south side there and then two on the north side by the supporters section. Two. It's, um, so if you haven't been yet, so you, you literally, there's like a, it's like a turnstile thing. Mm -hmm. So you swipe your credit card at the credit card machine. You go in there, you pick whatever you want. All right, I want a beer, I want a water, I want, uh, you know, popcorn. And then you just walk out. And it knows, it knows somehow what right. you bought. Right. <laughs> and it can't be wait because the popcorn doesn't weigh anything. It's a sporting event from the future. It yeah, is. I mean, it's, right. everything Matt, is... how does it know? Here, here's what will blow your mind is so the, the average transaction time in all those markets is like 30 seconds. So for, for soccer, where we need speed and a lot of the purchases are at halftime, like that's why those markets are so amazing for us. Um, but you can even walk in with a group of kids and they can be taking things and it still knows what you bought. Incredible. What? So... Explain. It, I don't tell it's, us. It's, it's, it's honestly, it's it's the use of camera and sensor-based technology. Oh, okay. Yeah. Holy crap. A, wow. a lot of cameras, a lot of sensors. Um, I was like, this is wild. It's amazing. <laughs> so cool. It is amazing. This is wild. This is the coolest thing ever. It really is. Yeah, just walking around the whole stadium, it was cool to see all the food stalls yeah. and... And they had the lines. I mean, everything was moving pretty quick. Yeah, we uh, we worked really hard. You know, a lot of it's the the optionality and the, the fact that, you know, we have 25 local food partners. So everything there is delicious. So yeah. you don't have 22,000 people going to the same five concession stands. It's all kind of spread out. You can mobile order ahead. You can go to the magic market. There's a, there's a lot of variety. Speaking of variety, and we're always arguing about fries because like we're professional. We're professional <laughs> yeah. fry consumers. Connoisseurs. Yes. And... Uh, the fries at the TCU club that I had, Gerard mm -hmm. Krakta actually handed my son his fries. Mm -hmm. They were some of the best fries I've ever had on the planet. Yeah. Are those all through that stadium or just in the TCU club? His are only in the Together Credit Union Dude, club. Dude, yeah. get your, find your way into there and get those fries. Yeah. Or, or I'm going to be passing them down seats and like, mm. you know, like giving people the supply. <laughs> because I'm telling you, those fries are freaking incredible, dude. <laughs> I will say Balkan Treat Box also has some amazing fries as well. Awesome. A little that bit under the radar. Delicious. It's not usually what you get there, but it's amazing. Oh, man. I told you I went there the other day. Like the actual OG store in mm -hmm. Webster Groves. Dude, mm -hmm. if you have a chance to go to that it place. It is so good. Damn. Outrageous. Yeah. And, and there was a big line of Steve's hot dogs when, when mm -hmm. we were there last time. And that line, everything moved pretty quickly. So yep. you got it. You got it. Uh, dude, you know what is even better is getting into the stadium. Yeah. Zip. In and then out. That's right. That's right. Now, if we could find a way for, to get me out of the Union Station parking lot quicker. Right. <laughs> I don't know if you have anything to do with that. <laughs> That's great. That was my only gripe. Yeah, let's, yeah, like, whoever put this all together, can you run the highways for a moment? Yeah, just, can you just, just run yeah. everything yeah. for this city? That'd be great. Magic highways. There no, it's been awesome to see everything down there, and it's been a great success, I know, so far for you guys. Just seeing everybody in the gear and the... Uh, 
the the, the shoes and the and the whole thing. It's, yeah, it's been an amazing. It, it, it's just the positivity. I think is what 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 is captivating to me is you go down there and it does like we've put a lot of energy into the food, the music, making it feel like a festival. But then you add the people to it. It's just you know, it's twenty two thousand people plus because we've got people hanging out outside that don't even have tickets. You know, and it's just it's it's a collection of people that are just here for St. Louis mm. and to celebrate yeah. everything that's going on. It's it's really fun. Yeah, my first experience down there, I was I was standing room only, and I was walking around, and just seeing, A, the positivity on everybody, just, everybody was just so happy to be there, but they were so happy that you were there, too. It didn't matter what you were wearing or what you were there yeah. for or how long you've been in the soccer or any of that kind of stuff. There was no. no, like, you know, too cool for school kind of attitude. Everybody was just so awesome. And the gal that I was next to when we got our first goal... We were both jumping up and down and hugging, and like I mean, we we couldn't have been different. Like she didn't know the sport before, and like I mean, it was just, it was so, so freaking sweet. And that's what I've been preaching about for years and years about soccer fans in general and St. Louis fans in general. I'm so happy that finally these guys are like sold. No, yeah. we were directly across from the supporter section, so literally on the other side of the supporter yeah. section, and the flags going. And all I'm thinking is. Man, their arms got to be tired. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they have to rotate. Oh, do they rotate oh, yeah. out? Yeah, for sure. I'm just thinking one big jacked guy just with the big flag. You get jacked as those big flags yeah, are going. Right. It's a yeah, total yeah. ab workout. Yeah. And and for me, like as the curmudgeon, I'm like, what if I'm behind the guy with right. the big flag? They don't care. And I got the flag in my face the entire game. <laughs> I had to go, enough with the flag. That, that's, <laughs> that's why I'm not sitting there. Yeah. We got to get you flying a flag at one of those games. Ooh, just to do be it. good. Like I like I was telling you guys, like my friend Rob has the Walk Among Us Club that they they got that massive flag. Mm -hmm. They would probably be more than happy for you to do like it. Fantasy camp, get in. I'd do it if they invite me. Yep. All right, that'd be awesome. If they invite me. I'll well, do Matt it. brought tickets for all of us today, right? <laughs> oh, nice. the, the flag awesome. holding. Yeah, well, awesome. the flag Thank holding. You. Tickets. Front row too. That's yeah. so nice of you. Oh, yeah. 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 And you can pick us up in a limo. Awesome. Oh, That's so nice. Nice. Oh, and fly us out of there. And no yeah. Free food. Oh, free food yeah. at every place. Oh, all right, what do we what do we need to know about tomorrow? Everybody's listening. What do we need to know about tomorrow? Give us all the particulars for tomorrow's match. Five o'clock. We start at five o'clock. Um, there's there's you know there's some other stuff going on. You mentioned sporting Kansas City. Uh, you know, in the absence of a professional team here in St. Louis for so long, undeservingly so, by the mm -hmm. way. Um, we know that you know people here may have bought sporting Kansas City gear for themselves or their kids. We're going to let you go ahead and trade that in tomorrow. Ooh. So come. Whoa. Wait a second. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, so you can come trade it in. We're going to give you a ten dollar gift card that you can then go spend to buy yourself some city gear. So Savage. get out. Savage. Yeah, it's a little amnesty period. We're going to, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. forgive the sins of the past Savage. and welcome you in. Hey, listen, before, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> but before we had a team, you know, we were. We got we a burn barrel. We were supporting. We got a burn barrel. And we're going to donate it back to Kansas City. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's yeah. Nice. We were supporting. Nice. Yeah. No brain. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. That's amazing. So you guys that's are gonna nice too. you guys are gonna show up in a, in a city red forklift and just drop a box of their Boom. own merch and yep. just say, "Here you go, here you can go. have this back." back. <laughs> that's so brilliant. Oh, they're gonna light it on fire. Like we're gonna go, <laughs> like a flaming bag of dog poop. Like just go. <laughs> that's the NFL. Yeah. Okay. This is a little bit better. That's yeah. right. <laughs> I'll admit I have stuff to turn in. Let's go. I do because I, I. Well, you know, you, I was, I was you have a ten dollar or ten percent off. Ten dollar gift card. Ten dollar gift card Dang. coming your way, Ooh, buddy. That's so Sick. Cool. Yep. Sweet. Car borrow they gift card. I have a few scarfs. Okay, so we got so we got the rally at at, at five o'clock. Yep. Uh, the game starts at eight thirty. Eight thirty. That's right. Tons of pregame festivities. So if you're coming down to the game, get there early. Come get a bite to eat. Yeah. Plenty of good local food. We've got some good pregame festivities planned, so it's gonna be awesome. Uh, pregame stuff in the stadium. In the stadium. Awesome. That's right. That's right. And what time are doors? Uh, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Come get dinner at the park. Y'all doing something with the history museum? Um, we have. So we partnered with the History Museum, thank you, Moon, um, over you know the last month uh, to develop a series of billboards. So if you're coming in from Kansas City on I-70, um, <laughs> these billboards face west. Nice. And they're just little little snippets Savage. of all of our all of our history. Savage. I like I like I love this club. Nice. I, li I like the attitude. I like it. Love That's it. right. We are reclaiming history that is rightfully ours. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I love, a, to, I love to see it. Just a yeah. little bit of loving snark. That's right. I love to see it. Well, everybody's going everybody's to be down there. If we can't be down there, we'll be watching for sure. Cool. Uh, Chief Experience Officer, that CXO, mm -hmm. Matt Seebeck, as always. Thank you. I know you got a you got a chair here whenever you want to come. Thank in. you, and, thank uh, you, dude. Thanks for the tickets and jerseys. I, know. I, know. So I love it. Experience. <laughs> yeah. it's so tight. And the ride to the game—that's amazing. It's amazing.